Hello everybody, welcome back. This is going to be episode 2 in our Legendary Crocodrop campaign for Total War Warhammer. I'm the Strategy Professor. So remember, this is running the Locarion mod. So they're very much just like the normal dwarf faction, but you can only hire, they only come with one Legendary Lord, which is... I forgot his name. No, that's Blasphemy to the Lore. Sorry about that. Thorgard Kromson. Okay, and we start off up here right in probably the hardest spot on the map or really close to it we're right on chaos's doorstep so this is going to get rowdy up here so as we saw in the first episode public order is a major major problem we're going to be fighting public order for quite a while which in some ways is okay because we get a lot of money and experience our troops are going to be really high level very soon most likely but um it creates lots of problems too because it stymies our ability to move forward so we're gonna have to be you know working on a budget here okay let's see so this still has a few left um now what what we want to do is i explained last time we want to get to rangers as fast as we can um <clears throat> now yes they are only only look like they're marginally better than the normal dwarf shooters but i mean they have lower armor but they have higher endurance because they have less armor and uh, they have less ammo they're not as good at fighting but they're faster so they're 34 faster they can stalk also so they can sneak flank around and get behind people which is very helpful for a lot of melee scrums um and most importantly, they can get plus 25% damage off of the Runesmith's tree and minus 15% upkeep cost. That's the real kicker. Also, if we want to, we can have these um, uh, the armor piercing rounds, which would be pretty sweet. We want... Uh, <clears throat> they are, wait, those are the normal ones. Here's the armor piercing ones. There we go. Close quarters infantry. Interesting. So they only have eight ammo, but they deal forty-five percent or forty-five damage, piercing damage. And I believe they have an arcing shot. But they have to be pretty close. They do have stalk, and they are somewhat fast. So you can flank them around and get behind people. Um, and they do have uh twenty-one piercing damage. But this forty-five in addition to the twenty-five percent extra damage that you can get off of the um off of the the tree, the normal, uh, the the whatever tree, the runesmith tree, and all the bonuses you can get from the uh, coraler tree, you know, even though they only have eight ammo, I suspect if you actually flank around and get to behind something um, that's really heavily armored, this should just melt through them pretty quickly. We'll see. And then these are pretty good for just trading shots with a lot of people because um, they have the regeneration, even though they're not as accurate. So I think the rangers are definitely what we want to rush. Uh, Gyrocopters and brimstone guns are really high up the priority list as well, but we're mostly going to be relying probably on just quarrelers, dwarf warriors, and um, longbeards, and maybe some. Um... Okay, this is what's required for all the great weapon people and slayers. Interesting armory. Huh. We'll s we'll see how that how that's going to play out. I mean, quarrelers are great weapons would be okay. They're more expensive, aren't they? Yeah, they're about 30 more gold. Wait, like I said, we're just we're really on a budget here. It's two more turns, we'll get another surplus, we'll get up here. Um Thunders are okay. The I just have become really disenchanted with them because of their line of sight is extremely annoying. Uh, they have to have like perfect line of sight and they can't have something that's in their way when they're shooting, so you really have to try to flank around with them, but they're very slow. They don't have an arcing shot, so we'll see how that plays out. Okay, so this is going to have a rebellion next turn. Just regenerating here. Um, now I am going to need some things here within three turns to deal with this. I need to hand off more units here though. I'm going to get another rebellion. They're just going to wear us out over time. Um, okay, let's just go for three more quarrelers for now. Well, we don't need the quarrelers just yet. 
I don't want to go into negative money though. Maybe, I mean, maybe we can do it with just three. Seven on eight. It's going to be hard when we start getting rebellions everywhere. Like, we need to get some public order going. But it's going to be rough. We need, like, some singer of songs and things like that. Which is what I've got here. Okay. So our next tech, we just finished uh, Crossbow Masterwork. I think we want uh, Renowned Dead Eyes. Plus two for Quarreler and Ranger is really nice. I mean, ammo wagons are obviously nice, but the fights aren't lasting so long that we're running out of ammo right now, so I'm okay giving that up. Getting to extra diplomatic relations would be really, really nice. So getting plus 30 with all factions would be really sweet. Eventually. So we can maybe confederate with some other dwarves. But for now, we want Renowned Dead Eyes. Because we're going to be hiring some more archers here, eventually. Okay, and this is just about going to put us at red territory. Now, I need to start branching out. Like, I need to run up here with this guy and take the capital pretty soon. But it's going to be a little on the tough side. I'm going to have to... After I win the battle here, I'm going to have to drop in... Yep, here we go. Now we do have some. They're obviously going to fight it manually. Um, it's just a battle of attrition. Can we hang out? Can we hang on over here? We're getting. We're going to fight basically every turn. Um, it's can I get to a twenty stack? Secure my main base in terms of public order somehow, some way, and then. Oh, it's just all miners straight up. These are my special ones, though. I can buy them back. I'm really that concerned about it. Okay, let's... I really wish I had more quarrelers, though. Keep those at the back. I don't want them taking the main force head on. I want them to flank around and hit from behind. Because they have that armor piercing damage and they're not really that great in normal like hand to hand combat. Are these guys like Vanguard or anything? No. But they're really sweet. Okay. Um Don't I don't think I want to try to get that hill. Because there's a chance they could meet me like like here and fight me on the downhill and my archers uh, my quarrelers would not have a good angle to fire potentially you have to be very careful how you position the dwarves they are very slow to set up their formations and they don't really like to move around once they get them set up. Unlike the elves, that can basically fire from any formation. I just am coming off of the elf campaign. I haven't quite finished it, but I'm really, really deep in it. And I'm just kind of chilling on it for a second. Not those guys. I don't want those guys tanking. Those are my fire guys. They're doing a pretty good job of, like, flanking me, so I can't set up proper shots on them. There we go. Stop us. Move to 
That looks so awesome. I wish that it nerfed the miner guys from so long ago. out of there. Should have a pretty good vantage point here. Let's go ahead and fire on those guys. I think we'll get some decent side shots here. Okay, there we go. Get some nice side shots. It's all about those flanks. Hard to flank as dwarves, but it can be done. Gotta shoot him in the back so we get around those silver shields. How much ammo do these guys have? Jesus. A ton of ammo. bit so that everyone fires. I guess if you just like barely clip them. Oh there we go. Yeah if some of your guys are in range then all of them won't fire. That's a thing. Go oh, back up back up back up. Gonna be fighting him again, so we really need to try to wear him down. Oof. It's getting rough. I'm gonna need some dwarf warrior upgrades. Okay, so they they did run out of ammo. So we're starting to run out of ammo with a couple of them. Because they didn't flank as much as some others. See, Coral Alert is 127, 96, 96 kills. Everything else is like 6, 13, 7, 1. It's all about those ranged units. All about those ranged units. That's why I rush the damage on them ASAP. Can't make that money, man. Let's see, Ruby Ring. Okay, now we get some spells. That's actually really nice against trolls. It's almost better just to kill them at this point. Just so that I can get a fresh stack of them back. Uh, looks like we can just auto this one, probably because we have a legendary lord. I think I'm just going to do it. Just, I don't want to spend, you know, all of my time fighting. Although I probably could have performed better than that. I don't know, it's still a kind of dangerous army.
Mm. That's just for rangers, so I don't need that yet. I mean, the psychology is okay. It's just got to be Axelord. Just for the defense, if nothing else. They just have to hold that line while the Coralers gun them down. So many fights. Eternal Flame. Okay, abuse fire damage to everyone around you. That's really nice for dealing with trolls. Doesn't really matter for a lot of other people, but. We march. For the wisdom of the land. Um, Lightning Strike doesn't matter as much right now. <sighs> Extra missile damage would be very good. Obstinacy would be very good. I think the missile damage is <clears throat> probably where we want to be next. Let us begin. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Really? That army is only worth five public order? Military presence is only five? Jeez. Alright. Can I build here? Tool makers? Nah, there's only two places. I mean, I could go for more public order. I need something that lowers, uh... Lowers corruption. Vampire corruption. Which is them, but that's not enough. I just, I need to get those techs that lower the corruption pretty quickly. Like, I need the fighter techs, obviously, right now, but then I'm going to have to go for those um, <clears throat> anti-corruption techs and public order techs. And I think those are pretty deep in the chain, though, aren't they? Aren't they, like, over here? Yeah, they're really far down there. It's really, really far down there. It's gonna be rough. Alright, so he's just gonna hang out for a little bit. <clears throat> oh, my dudes just straight up died. Okay, so I can hire him back if I want to. Some nine chevron uh, doors here pretty soon. I'm going. What? God. Dang it, that means it won't be tired. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we can make it one more turn. Get one more turn of redemption. Just one more turn. Or, um, punishment. Those quarrelers. You will drink with us. Where's Scabby Eye? The red Eye? Oh, wait on there. All 
Alright, let's go next turn. So I want to push out and start, you know, making progress over here, but it's it's just gonna be a slow slog. I need to get some heroes too, because heroes improve the uh, public order. Alright, upgrade. <clears throat> Oh, I did mean to switch over whatever. The growth is really important, too. I need four. That's going to take forever. I mean, I could go for the refectory and just say whatever to these rangers for now. Difficulty. None of these give anti-corruption. Yeah, we're still gonna have problems even if I get to an extra five. We're still gonna have ten per turn. I think I just go for the rangers and just resign myself to the fact that I'm gonna be fighting rebellions here for a long time probably I might in theory once these guys get strong enough I might be able to sneak off for like a turn and hire some more units or like beat up a rebellion and then dash over here hand off units beat up another rebellion and just run it that way I might have to go into the negative briefly and then just dash over here and start taking out that stuff. Like, all I have to do is get to the capital. That's gonna take like two turns. If I could just make it to the capital. Now, they could have a huge 20 stack army sitting there, too. I have no idea. I don't know. The Rangers do cost. Um, like, I could go like 500 in the tank and hire like three more units, but. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, I am going to be getting a lot of money from Rebellions. <clears throat> so maybe I just don't even go for the Tier 3 right now. And I just go deep in the red just to go push forward and gain more territory and just gain capitals. Because if I can take out the Conclave, then I can take out Altar of Spawns. That'll give me some more money. And yeah, I'll get a lot of Rebellions, but the Rebellions will be up here at least. I think that's what I'm interested in. Now let's just go crazy. Buy into those, hand them off, run over there, and then this... 20 sacks should be able to deal with them. Or it won't be 20, but I can hand off like probably at least three quarrelers, and that should be enough. 15 units should be enough to take out Farg. Especially once I get full Axelord. Now we're going to go like negative 500. What well, we're going to get at least 1500 this turn off of Rebellions, probably. <clears throat> I gotta fight this manually. It's just gonna hurt my units too much. Otherwise. Oh, 
This one, <clears throat> this one I aim for clumped up stuff. the normal door for you here with shields. Trolls are out of there. <clears throat> More of the other trolls, yeah, I get them. The silver shields are brutal. Excuse me. Come out, take him out. Oh, that's just marauders. Ain't nobody care about marauders with the warriors. That's right, I guess that's all we're gonna get.
demands more. Thirsts for war. It is time. What do you want? Turn twenty per turn is a lot, <clears throat> but. <clears throat> Negative sixteen leadership is pretty good. this. I don't know why they think we're not. We'll do it. This, this might be the last thing of the episode. We'll see. We're getting a lot of fights. We aren't getting a lot of big fights yet, but we are getting a lot of fights. We will fight something other than rebellions. It's just gonna, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit to get um, to get on our feet, but at least we're getting a ton of fights, right? Okay, yeah, this is a frozen version of a different map that I've seen. Maybe they forced me to come to them. This mountain. I might be able to fight him right here and be kind of on the mountain. Obviously, anything that's sort of downhill will be good. I don't want to give them too much of a downhill. This isn't that much of a slope. doing face this way Shoot it! 
You get those marauders. Yeah, just trying to shoot him in the back. That's a good way to neutralize those silver shields. There we got him. So he did a decent chunk to my rune ward. Nice arcing shot. I right, got away. Them corollers, though. Putting in some work. These uh, dwarf warriors actually did okay, too. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have shot this. I just wanted to do um, just kind of one at the end here, at the end of the day. I'm super tired, obviously. I might fall asleep on camera. Right? So I think we're about done with this episode, though.
There we go. That's what we want. We want Teller of Tales, and there's like a tattoo artist guy or something. We want all of those followers. Now, can we make it over here? We'd have two turns, so we could, in theory... Well, now I'm taking attrition because it's so chaos up. That sucks. Can I get over there and hand off, like, three quarrelers? And then dash back. Because if they had three more quarrelers... I think we could make a move on the capital. Like after next turn, if we fight a really good battle and don't lose a lot of units. We might even be able to go four units. I think three is about as much as I can do. I need at least some kind of skeleton crew here. I don't want to go too much in the red. I could drop out. Let's see, if I dashed over here, it's probably gonna be a lot of attrition. It's gonna be more, most likely. No, it's the same. Okay. Take attrition. I wonder if I can grab those units now and not lose all my movement. I probably will lose all my movement. We'll see. Give them. Wait, which one's which? Okay, yeah, the one with the specialty units. Yes. Yep, took all my movement. Can I dash? No, nope, can't dash. So they might burn. They're almost certainly going to burn or take this town. God, I just hope they don't burn it. That's going to be really annoying if they burn it. They're gonna burn it. They're chaos. That's what they do. <sighs> we can't repopulate it. We'll just have to let it go and move on to the capital. And then eventually come back and repopulate it. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass. It's not gonna be worth it at all. Uh, I was hoping I would have a little bit of movement left, maybe. But because the like the handoff rules are a little bit weird in this um, in this game compared to Attila. Attila, if you hand it off, it was always ever everything. But in this one you get a little bit more flexibility. Really? They're not going to attack me? They're just raiding? No, they're going to attack it. Uh, and there it goes. Occupy, occupy, occupy. You know they're going to burn it. You know they're going to burn it. Yep. And that was not worth. God bless. So troll. I mean, it's going to be like... It's like a multi-thousand dollar oops. It's going to cost like 3,000 gold to take that town back. And it's going to lose all of its growth. Just absolutely awful. I should not have handed that off. I should have just taken one more turn. I was really greedy with it. Mm, it sucks. Well, I guess that's one way how we can just ignore it and come up here and go for this. At least, like, the capitals will have walls. You really have to get the capitals. Like, if I run it up the middle here and grab these capitals, I should get a lot of money off of sacking. I should be able to beat whatever they throw at me, honestly, with this army. At this stage in the game. Anyways, we'll figure it out next time, so. Sorry, I kind of goofed that up right there. I thought I would be able to dash back, but that was a fail, so that's gonna... I mean, it was only giving... It was giving me, like, 300 gold a turn, which is important when you're losing 800 a turn. But it's not the end of the world. It didn't have a ton of stuff there. But anyways, thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. And see you next time.